going on? The president is about to enter Ben King's mind. So? Are you kidding me? The boss is going back to a time when they weren't in charge. When was the last time you saw that? I feel like this is an invasion of privacy. When did that ever stop your administration? We never invaded- Yes, yes we, we did. did. Jesus, what did we do? I'm committing treason if I tell you. I think treason only matters if you have a planet on which to be tried. That was bad timing. You get to be quiet now. Okay. From leader of the Vice Kings to best-selling self-help book author to the President's Chief of Staff, there are few people who have done as much as Benjamin King. I think I almost tried to kill him back in Stillwater before his own lieutenant staged their little coup. <laughs> Guess it worked out for him. Kenzie, if, am I? Back home in Stillwater? Yep. And look at this place. <laughs> it's just how I remember it. I expected the buildings to look a lot worse than this. Yeah, they've really improved over the years. Watches! I got watches here! Yo, hey man, this shit'll cost you $600 in the store! Oh, whatever, man. Watches! Yo, I got watches! Hey, baby. I could show you a good time. Hold on. Doesn't someone try to kill me soon? Shit! Ben! Oh, hell no! Man, fuck the rollers! The bar. You gonna let those bitches disrespect us? Shit, what you think? Whoops. Nice going. <laughs> Better you than me. Recognize that place? Yeah, of course I do. I was just a kid when I came back here. <laughs> well, I was too scared to talk back then. That must have been nice. Excuse me? I didn't say anything. I'm kind of shocked a freckle bitch has never opened in Steelport. Eh, then again, Councilman Phillips never did have a sense of humor. That's far enough. King, whoa, whoa, it's me. Remember, I'm the president and you're my chief of staff? Shit. Yeah, I remember now. What's going on here? My crew turned on me. And your big Tony pulled a coup and now they want my ass dead. I was hoping Julius and the Saints would help me out. Oh shit, he's not around here, is he? No. 
I'm never able to find him. <laughs> no, 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 believe me, it's for the best. Now let's get you out of here. Tanya thinks you bitches can take me out? My name is Benjamin motherfucking King! Didn't you kind of drop Tanya out of a window under your car years ago? Yeah, but that ain't what happens here. Every time I see her and Anthony, they end up putting a bullet in my head. Then I wake up and it's the same shit all over again. That's why I get paid the big bucks. We're sitting ducks in here. Take King and head back to the portal. I'll get you. Whoa, whoa, whoa hold on. We're not leaving yet. What? Why not? You have King, so just. How about you, Ben. You ready to leave yet? Hell no. I'm not going anywhere till Tanya and Tony are in the ground. We're staying, Kinsey. Come on, King. Let's go. Boss, are you sure about this? There's Spice Kings all over that area. Ben, when did Tony and Tanya usually show up to kill you? Tanya's usually tried already. I think I scared her away earlier. Sorry. If we can hold out here, then Tony shouldn't be far behind the rest of the BKs. This feels just like old times, doesn't it, player? Simpler times, King. Kenzie, can you see if Tony's on his way yet? I've been searching the simulation, and so far, no sign of either of them. But they are gonna show up, right? Since King has been reliving this over and over again, it stands to reason that the parameters of the encounter should remain the same. I think that means yes. But you understand it. Yep, I did that. go faster. Check in that empty grave. I dropped something for you. You are the best, Kinsey. Sounds like there's more going on around the other side. I'm gonna go check it out. All right, I'll keep doing what I can here. Ben, you all right? Thanks. No more splitting up. We stick together till we kill those assholes. inside simulation's code and force them to spawn. Or maybe you won't have to, girl. Look! That's Anthony! Let's kill his punk ass! It's over, King. You can't outrun us forever. I didn't let the crew kill me when you all took over, and I ain't letting you kill me now! You think the Saints can save you? After we're through with you, that silent motherfucker is next. Who, me? You really don't know who you're fucking with anymore, Tony. Hey, <laughs> I tried to warn him. Like Anthony ever listened. <laughs> Boss, you and King should head back down the street to where you came in. It looks like Tanya's on her way. Hold on. You're just thinking of this now? I've been ready ever since I got here. Though I'll give Tanya one more...
chance to give herself up. Meaning? Meaning put your weapons away and we'll see if she's willing to back down. Yo, look who it is. Well, well, Benjamin. Time for you to die with some dignity. So much for her giving up. Anthony's dead! The Vice Kings are through! <laughs> That's just precious. You think I need Tony to kill you and your sidekick here? <laughs> what the hell happened to her? Honestly, I don't care right now. As long as she ain't killing my ass over and over again. Good point. Let's clean up the rest and then get out of here. look like out there it's bad why do i have a feeling that's a big understatement you know me too well we have a plan kind of kind of we're getting the band back together and then we're gonna kill zinyak that's not a plan that's a goal what you got a better one kenzie you listening yeah i want to turn this whole simulation off you think you can do that with my help she can i don't need your help yes you do that's why you saved me first you saved matt before me brilliant computer hacker Record mogul. Experience with virtual worlds. Experience with street gangs. My experience is empire building. Empire building? I'm sorry, who became fucking president of the United States? Who's the person that the fucking president of the United States asked to run their cabinet because they were way over their head? I was not in over my head. True or false? You called me at 3 in the morning asking me to run your election because you weren't polling for shit. There's some fine points you're glossing over there, buddy. You're right. You weren't asking me. You were begging me. Are you two finished yet? Keith, have you been watching the whole time? Yeah. And I'm just throwing this out there. I think there's only a passing similarity between me and Julius. Whatever, you're like the same person. How many of you guys are listening in on us? All of us. Let's not fight in front of the kids. Do you seriously have a plan? I do. Work it out with Kinsey and Matt and fill me in when we can execute. You got it. All right, I'm killing your connection, Benjamin. We'll see you soon. Hey, King. You really hate that you end up in second place, don't you? Yeah. Kind of matter. I devised a training simulation wherein a highly trained vigilante has requested our assistance in clearing the city of a long standing mess. That's vague. I promise you that it's the finest simulation I have ever crafted.
Greatest vigilante needs our help in drawing out his arch nemesis. To do so, we must confront the foul captain's army of minions, draw out his lieutenants, until the terrible menace reveals himself. Then, we must take him on in an earth shattering final conflict. <laughs> the three count. Seems every time I'm here, I never have time to just sit back and enjoy the games. And I get the herp. Loosest slots in Steelport. Superpowers like yours don't exist in this universe, so you won't be able to use them. This simulation better be awesome, Matt. Okay, here comes trouble. This is the army of minions? Zombies? Who has an army of zombies? You, uh, have to be prepared for anything. I don't think zombies are a pressing matter, Matt. Whose army did you say this was? His true nature is known only to a secret cabal of followers. Uh, well, uh... Matt, is this Nightblade fan fiction? Uh, please. I'm not one of those forum-stalking hacks who spit out poorly constructed... Badly edited wish fulfillment brimming with cannon breaking Mary Sue's and. Oh, so you've read it? Well, of course I've read it! How long have you been working on this simulation? Oh, I wrote the original short story between seasons two and three. And it seemed Nightblade may be retiring. So we set about finding the one person who could take his place. Oh, man. Sweet, sweet man. Nightblade has a rich cosmology merely hinted at in the television series. As with many classic genre shows, the universe belongs as much to the fans as the creators. No, oh, I'm not judging. You're not? No, no. Damn. But I really don't want to have this conversation right now. It's up to the fans to keep Nightblade alive. Especially now that the Earth is gone, and there will never be any more official stories. My condolences on your loss. Damn, I'm good. Thank you, Nightblade. The bad news is the Cardinal is not in the three count, as we originally thought. <sighs> so where is he? Meet me outside the casino. I'm on my way. Oh my god, Nightblade is on his way! Hello, Matt. It's 
good to see you again. And you must be the protege I've heard so much about. Yes, I must be. The Cardinal is on the move, but I have good intelligence regarding his final destination. I'll lead you to him. Stay close, but not too much. We don't want to give my nemesis too easy a target. Onward! Toward battle! So, what do you think? You have to be having some fun. I do. At least a little bit? Killing zombies is never not fun, Matt. That's why they're called zombies. I knew you were having a good time. Is this simulation really made for Asha? Originally? Yes. Why did she reject it? Asha doesn't appreciate the rich fiction of the Nightblade universe. She called it paranormal bromance. I'm sorry, Matt. Swords up, brothers! The Cyprian Order is on our tail! Attacked en route to the main villain. Nicely... Hey, Matt. Good escalation of conflict. Uh, wait. So I'm not really up to date on Nightblade fiction. Who are the Cyprian Order again? The Cyprian Order are a sect of brave soldiers waging a clandestine war against the creatures of the night. Franklin Knight was a member of the Order until he succumbed to the Dark Embrace and was turned into one such creature, a vampire. Uh, okay, now the Cyprian Order hunt Nightblade too? That's right. Oh, okay, but Nightblade still fights vampires along with fighting the Cyprian Order? Correct. That sounds... compelling. It's a dramatic work that's exemplar of the form. Have you had time to build this? It's based on a training simulation that Asha rejected. How many simulations is Asha having you build? I don't know, a dozen? A dozen? She likes to keep her skills honed. Nightblade, huh? What else can you tell me? Like, does he have a love interest or anything? Oh, oh, oh my god, yes! Franklin Knight had a wife, Sylvia, who was killed by a vampire. It was this tragic moment that started him on his path as a hunter. A lone man wandering the earth looking for justice, never to love again. Until he met Marion, who desperately wanted to be Nightblade's bride. But he was forced to walk away, stating, after losing Sylvia, I can never love again. Ooh, it's a good line. One of the finest ever written. Why are we here? Excuse me, Nightblade! I thought we had to lure the Cardinal out first. I enjoyed your story well enough. Zinyak. Shit. But I thought your ending could use a little work. What are you doing to my story? Matt, get back. I will not! I won't have some effete alien dictator stomping all over my expanded universe fiction! Matt, get back! That was a drag. Matt Miller. I thought you were my ally. But I am! Now, I find you're actually a pawn of the Cardinal! No, Nightblade, I would never... Miller! This is already so much better. This is terrible! I need you to focus. We could have been such close friends, Matt. But you stabbed me through the heart. <sighs> Metaphorically. We are going to get Zinyak for this. Sure. For this, you know, because up until now, Zinyak's crimes haven't been that bad. You're not taking this seriously! I'm trying to save our lives, Matt. I don't want to fight you, Nightblade. <sighs> You'll never have me! 
me, vile assassin! I can't take this anymore! Embrace empowers me. Forgive me, Franklin Knight. So much for a hard fight. It's done. Nightblade has fallen. Sorry things ended this way. <laughs> Typical writer. Can't stand honest critique. While my version of this story had Nightblade triumphant over the friend who betrayed him, a far more compelling take on the narrative, I believe, I suppose you'll have this your way, then. Let's get out of here. I can't stand the way this has turned out. But we're not done yet. We're not? Not until you get your powers. Powers? Powers? How would I... You mean from Nightblade? The fight against the creatures of the night and the fellows that turned on him must continue, Matt. Don't let Franklin Knight have died in vain. So... You do understand. Matt, if it makes any difference... Yes? As the sole living world leader from planet Earth, this is probably within my power, so... I hereby assign you all rights, titles, and licenses, possible merchandise, to the Nightblade property. You what? On one condition. Of course. Never stop.
All right! Damn, I'm good!
Hello, Kinsey's recording this. This is how the Saints do things. more relaxing is dancing. So much for a hard fight. Therapeutic. Satisfied. Have fun cleaning. Oh, wait, it's a simulation. I'm still standing. Nothing like a little simulated carnage. Sorry, I don't play well with others. Ooh, so close.
Ah, oh, they would have made Gat proud. No, no, oh, no, oh, no. Ah! 